Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and the 2020 V2 Panigale build. And if you haven't been watching, four weeks ago, this bike was a complete wreck. So, so far we've stripped and rebuilt what we can and we've had a few challenges along the way. This whole front end needs to be replaced. That the front wheel is completely buckled. And now it's a race to the finish line because by the end of this episode, we need to get our Ferrari themed Panigale finished and do that design justice. And the first job we've got to do is finish off the front ends because this is no good. So we're gonna throw it out. We did get another wheel, but that also turned out to be rubbish. So that was an eBay waste of money. However, we just picked this up for $800 and we've already had a slick fitted at Moto Garage. So new wheel, new brake discs, time to get this front end rebuilt. But before we jump into that, check this out. Another huge table full of goodies. We've got parts from YSS, Suspensions R Us, CNC Racing, Moto Mia. We've got it all. So this is gonna be epic. Well, those nuts were ridiculous. First injury of the day so far. But check this out. <laughs> Look how bent they are. So lucky for me, we picked up a new set, $140 on eBay, and they should do the trick. I'm just one bolt short because I've managed to, to shear one bolt off, and that could be a pain in the ass. So then it's on with the new discs, quick tighten them down and give them some Loctite, and then torque them down to spec. And then I always mark my torque marks as well. and then time for the wheel to go back in. God knows how many times I've taken this on and off. So I'm gonna do away with the caliper bolts that are on there because they're heavy as shit and they just look ugly. And I've got these, some very nice Pro Bolt pre-drilled race bolts. So I'm just gonna mock up the front end for now because I've actually gotta take these forks back out because we've got a pretty awesome upgrade happening on these forks. Uh, in about two days. So I'm just mocking it up so I can move the bike onto the other ramp and that's actually the ramp that works that I can actually lift up. Cause I'm six foot two, I don't want to be working at ground level. I just about forgot something. CNC Racing, these are from Moto Mia, Australia, so how cool do they look? They are the spaces. We've gone with a black and gold theme and we're gonna do some more CNC parts in this episode as well. Well, final episode, so. This should make the bike pop a little bit and once you see the paint later on, you'll understand why we've gone with gold. So the chain's off and we've got access to the hub. We've taken the hub off. So here's the hub and we're gonna pull that apart because we've got some pretty kick-ass bling from one of our sponsors, Moto Mia. And if you haven't checked them out already, make sure you jump on, message them on Instagram and see what you can get your hands on because we've got some pretty cool black and gold CNC racing quick release components for the rear, including a sprocket carrier and a hub quick release. So gold and black, two new sets of nuts, including a big wheel nuts, and we are good to go. So let's get this all pulled apart, get the cush drivers apart, get it all back together, get it back on the bike. And then once that side of the wheel is done, we can actually probably take the wheel off, go and get the slick put on it. And then that's most of the back of the bike done apart from a new chain, because we had to cut the other one off. So let's get into it.
So I've just realized how much work I've actually still gonna get done in such a short space of time. I've got the wheel off now, I'm gonna shoot over to Moto Garage and get the slick put on that. I've got suspension package, that's gotta go in and it's gotta be professionally put in. Um, I've got a paint set, I've got decals, which haven't even arrived yet. All this for Saturday and it's already Tuesday, so keep your fingers crossed. as though you're a mechanic. So our tires on, thanks Motor Garage. And we also picked up a 520, really nice chain, RK Racing, and it's got some gold spec on it as well. And a set of Brembo Racing brake pads. So they can go on a little bit later. But let's get this tire on. Wheel on, I should say. We'll put our new CNC Racing nut on as well. Tighten that up and another job done. So now I'm starting to feel like we're making progress. So it's the next morning and I've done a couple of other little things just to speed up the process. I've got the paint booth blowing up outside. I've gone and got some extra hardener uh, for the paint. And then I've just started sanding down some of the fairings where they had stickers on them just to get rid of the Ducati sticker and get rid of the residue from this, uh, the side tank pad. Uh, but I've just found a tiny little dent in the tank just here. So I'm just gonna use some body filler, fill that up, and whilst that's hardening, I'm gonna start undercoating the rest. Now once that's dried, I know it looks thick, but once it's dried in about an hour or so, I'll be able to sand it back and prep and prime the tank as well. Fingers crossed we might actually make it on the deadline that we've got. So we're all set up in here. This is ready to do our first coat of primer. I'm trying something a bit new. I'm actually trying to position the pieces as though they would sit on a bike. So I was told this by a friend of mine. He seems to think it'll work. So I'm gonna give it a go. I bought a $20 clothes line and I can just attach the pieces there. I've got a piece hung up over the other side there. I'm just gonna wait for that tank to get ready. So. We're gonna prime these, but before we do, I wanna show you something else. Because we have got some awesome performance parts for this bike, and we've got our full suspension package here from YSS Australia, Suspensions R Us. I'll put a link below as to where you can get these awesome, awesome uh, parts for your bike. Um, so yeah, massive thanks to those guys. Let's unbox it and have a quick look at what we've got. Okay, so this is the race steering damper. It's got 30 clicks of adjustment. It's pretty awesome. But check this out. This is the race 456W rear shock. Let's see if we can get our fat fingers to open this box. Look at that. That is nice. Very, very cool. So let's check out where that's gonna go. So you'll have to imagine that going right there. We're gonna take this old one off, take the carbon cover off and put this on uh, pretty soon, I think. And then on top of that, we've got our front cartridge kit. So this is the 30 millimeter racing front cartridge kit. This is getting installed tomorrow by one of our professional friends um, who has a pretty big footprint on the world superbike scene. So uh, we'll get that installed off camera um, because he's a bit shy and we'll bring that back as a complete set of forks all installed. So um, if you do want to check out how it looks to have them installed, I'll, uh, I'll put a link up here for one of the videos where we installed them on one of our previous V4 Panigales. So prime the fairings, wait for that to dry. Whilst that's drying, put as much of the suspension pieces on as possible, sand the prime fairings, and then we can start painting. So we've still got a lot to do.
So whilst all the fairings are drying in the sun, um, before we can start doing a mock-up and then figure out where our paint's gonna go, I figure I'll try something I've never tried before. Um, I'm not gonna go too crazy because Matt from Clean Ride is gonna detail this bike when it's done. But I've just got some Scotch-Brite, some metal polish, some alcohol, and I'm gonna see if I can just bring this pipe up a little bit better, um, even though like someone else, someone more professional than me is gonna do it, let's just say that. It's important to go with the grain, which most commonly is across it. And I really just want to do the face. I think Matt will probably take it off and re redo it, but. It's already starting to come up better. Wow, less than five minutes and already starting to look better. I'll keep at it. So this is where we're at. We've actually done a mock-up of where the yellow stripe. So remember this is a Ferrari and I'll put the design up here again. This is what we're going for. This is the 812 Speciale in Grigio Alloy and Medina Giallo Yellow. So the yellow is gonna be down the center here. This was really super hard to get a perfectly straight line. I had to come up with my own little mechanism of I cut out a piece of cardboard and held it over the top a few stages uh, just to try and get the exact distance. So, um, so this is all gonna be yellow in the middle, Grigio alloy on the outsides. And then we've got some wheel striping, which is bright yellow. Um, we've got some extra yellow decals, including Ferrari decals for the bike and some Ducati decals. But the problem is, how do I even paint this? Like I've done multi-colors before, but this is the one thing that stresses me. So I'm thinking I should start with the yellow and then go the alloy and then go the black stripe. So yeah, fingers crossed. Anyway, let's start mixing paint. Let's get the paint booth all ready. Okay, so check, oh no. Okay, so check this out. This is the yellow. This is Ferrari Medina Giallo yellow and that's pretty bright. So that's gonna be awesome on the bike. So let's get our first coat done. I've got these bigger pots as well, 400 mil pots. So I should be able to mix up more and then not have to do so many repeats. So in my previous bikes, I was going back and forward and back and forward trying to refill up my tiny little 125 mil pot. So now I'm thinking two to one, maybe I'll go 200 and 100. Sweet. Two to one, heaps more this time. Give it a good stir. Everything's all set up to paint. A little bit nervous. It's rock and roll. Okay, painting time. So I've also made some nice yellow. These are the same yellow vinyl as the, the paint. I've made some rim stripes. Now, they're not perfect, but it is a race bike. So I've got them on the front and I've got them on the, on the back. Check them out. So the yellow is done. That was actually four coats of yellow. I had to go a little bit heavier 
um, because it just didn't, I didn't want any of those marks coming through. Um, so I'm just gonna peel this off now. And then from, oh, let me think. If I peel this off, we can reverse mask and then we can do the alloy. Yes, that's correct. Once you see it against white, it's quite yellow. It's, uh, it's definitely the same as a rim tape. And look at that, nice and straight lines. What a day. I am exhausted and I'm only half done. I uh, have reverse masked everything now, so it's good to go for the alloy color. Um, we've got a couple of pieces hanging up as well. And fingers crossed this works. Um, i have still got to do the black stripe between the yellow and the alloy color. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use paint or if I'm going to use vinyl, but we shall find out. Um, yeah. Let's get it done. Now it's the next day. Let's do a quick recap of where we're at in this build. Um, and some other exciting news. This bike, the Aprilia RSV4 RF has just sold overnight. So goodbye bike, I love you, but uh, time for another build. So the front end is off the bike. That is actually with my wife. Uh, she's got the forks. She's taking them down to a friend of ours who's gonna do the install. But let's come out here and have a look at what we've got prepped for the final phase of the painting. So we've got everything sitting up where it should be ready for its clear coat. Um, we're still going to do around the yellow, we're still going to do the black, but we've got some black pinstripe on the way. Um, so it's time to do some clear coat. Three coats, lay the first coat down relatively light and then two relatively wet heavy coats, a few minutes in between each and try not to stuff it up. Okay, so the forks have come back and we've got the new YSS cartridges in them. So let's get those on the bike whilst we're waiting for that clear coat to dry. Well, they've still got the stickers to go on them, but...
it's all coming together. I've still got a bit to do. We've still got to tune the bike. There's a few other things. But next up, I've got this. This is a new tinted screen. So this is gonna go on right here. And then I've got to put all the stickers, all the decals on it. And some of them I haven't even got yet. So I might try and cut some myself. And this is either gonna go really good or terribly wrong. It's pretty bright, isn't it? Not, I don't know if I was expecting it to be that bright. So it'll be interesting to see what it's like in the sun. Top two bolts are drilled and put in place. So that holds it in place. So now I take the front back off and then I can actually drill from the back because the holes are already pre-drilled on the screen. Smarter thinking up here. So you watch this long, might as well see it. Three, two, one. Here we go. So there you go, another bike done. And this was an absolute dream build of mine. I really wanted to do a Ferrari themed bike justice. Um, I think we've done that. I think it looks absolutely sensational. This color is just to die for. Um, obviously we'll have another video on the dyno because we're gonna tune this bike next week and then we'll try and get it out on track the week after. So we'll film both of those and we'll share that with you as soon as we can get it. But thanks for watching. I hope you love the build series. There'll be another one coming shortly. Stay tuned, love, subscribe, love, like, subscribe, you know the drill.